So we're going to walk today step-by-step step how to capture email from uh, Outlook directly into a list. So, and we're going to do this as our tasks, and then we're going to create, uh, we're going to capture it into a list, and then we can use that list as a, uh, a task list for ourselves. We can send it to ourselves an email. We can have it for offline use. There's lots of creative things that we can do if we can move our email from one place into a list. And I'm actually doing three three videos here in a short period of time, one back up to a list and then search based on a common criteria and then posting that email to team. So all of it, stay tuned and uh, see the other videos. But let's go ahead and jump into this one right now. And as always, I try to have the screenshots done for you so that you can pause the video, take a screenshot of your own, open up PowerPoint, take a screenshot and it's just print screen on your on your keyboard. PRTSC is usually what it's a key. And then just dump all of this instruction right into a PowerPoint presentation. And then when you need to do it again, or you can put it in as a, you know something you can share with your friends and family. So you can go ahead and do that, and I'll go ahead and walk you through. And we're also going to walk through the actual application of building it. So let's get let's just stop talking and get started. So go up, open up your Office 365, and go ahead and go to your Waffle and go to Lists. It's right there, Lists. If you do not see it, you're going to have to click on More Apps, perhaps. And then you'll have to drill into where the lists are. Okay. So, and then you may have to do this one more time and then you'll see lists here. So in any way you slice it, get down to lists. And then you're going to create, you're going to click right here on new list. Okay. And we want to go to a blank list. So here we are in this instruction, pause the video, take a screenshot. This is all that we've done so far. We've gone to the waffle, we've hit lists, we've created a new list, and we've hit blank list. Okay, now that you've got that copied, let's go to the next part. So we're gonna go ahead and create that blank list, and the next thing we're gonna do is name this list. Now, I've already named mine email capture, so I'm not going to redo it, but I wanted to show you a few things, so I'm just gonna put in a bogus name. And then here, you can put in a definition, all that good stuff changes. But here's what's critical. This is my lists, but if you're going to share this data with somebody, you're going to want this inside of a SharePoint site. So I always, always put it into a SharePoint site. On this, in this example, I put it into personal, and then I hit create. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a list for me. And I'm going to go ahead and open that list up so that you can see it. It's email capture right there. And because I've already gone through and done all the screenshots for you, so make it faster. All right, we're going to put in four items here. Remember, I hid title. So if you go under here and you say hide this column, you can hide the title. So, for example, it was there. I'm going to put it back on there so you can see how to do that. You just go here, column, hide this column. Okay. I don't use title as just a standard procedure because I don't know what title is. And I almost never have title as something I need in a list. So I always hide it and get rid of it. And we can be grateful to Microsoft for stop. They used to make it as a mandatory field, which drove me crazy. But anyways, we've got the list email capture. And now we're going to go ahead and set up our... Um, columns. To do that, we're just going to click on add and pick the type of column. Now, if you notice here, there, see the T and see the lines? See the T? T, lines, right? And then um, I think that's lines. Let's see here. Nope. So body needs to be multiple lines, so we'll we'll save that. Okay, now it's lines. Okay, TT lines and a calendar. And so if you just look in here, TT lines calendar. So those are the fields. See what the fields are right there. I'm going to show the step by step to you. So we just did email capture personal. We created and then we did email capture. Good time to pause, take a screenshot. Awesome. Good job. Now let's move on to the next thing. We're going to go ahead and create 
the flow because we've already created the list and where we're going to deposit all of the email. So we're done with this for right now. We can go ahead, we can keep it open or close it. We're going to go ahead and go back and we're going to go to um, Power Automate. So we're going to click on here and open up Power Automate. Now, once we're inside of Power Automate, we're going to choose to make a um, automated workflow. So we're going to hit create automated workflow, and then we're going to name that flow email capture. Again, good time to pause. Take a snapshot. All right, good job. And let's move on. Okay, so here we're going to do just what we said in the instructions. We're going to hit create. I'm going to hit automated cloud flow, and we're going to name it email capture. Now, I'm not going to name mine, but you'd hit email capture and just hit uh, create. I'm sorry, you're going to pick a trigger. So let's let's do that together here. Email capture two, and then we're going to say the trigger. We're going to type in when a new email arrives. Okay, so we're just going to type in when a new email arrives and it's number three there. And then we're going to hit create. And again, the screen capture is right there of that screen. Email capture number two, when a new email, select that, select that. All right, take your screenshot. Awesome. All right, let's move on. So we've done that and I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go into the flow itself. So when you want to edit the flow, you can go to my flows and then you can go to email capture. And I've been playing with these to do these videos. Here it is right here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that one off. I'm going to go to email capture right here. And I'm going to turn it back on again because I want to edit it. And then we're going to hit edit. Now, you don't have to have it on, by the way, to edit. But you do have to have it on to test it and for it to work. So, okay. So, while that pulls up, we're going to see uh, uh, several things here. But we're going to just talk about them one, one at a time so that you can get the idea of what you need to do. All right. So we're not going to use Copilot. And we're going to go ahead and go down to the next section, which is we're going to select this. Now, here we're going to show all, meaning that we're going to show all of the options that are available. And the only real option that we're going to set here is we're going to anytime an email arrives. So remember, this is when a new email arrives in this folder, not when a new email arrives in the inbox. So it's when a new email arrives in the task list folder. So you could set up an Outlook rule, for example, to move emails with certain uh, properties into the task list. You could drag and drop them in there uh, you know you can do all types of things but this is what we're we're looking for right here and we're going to put that as task list to do that we're going to hit open folder oh, excuse me hit open folder and then we're going to click on the list right here we're not going to click here we're going to click here okay and let's go ahead and do the screenshot for you they go right there step one you click on that but once you add this action it's going to automatically pop up over here you're going to hit show all. You're going to scroll on down right here to folder list. You're going to click on this little guy right here. Then you click on task list and you're good to go. All right. Oops, sorry. Take your screenshot. Beautiful. Let's move on. All right. So that's good. We got that rolling. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another action. And so to add an action, you just click on this and say add an action. Okay. Now, usually it would look like this, by the way. All right. It asked me for a parallel action because parallel branch, because I've already got something under here. So anyways, add an action. And then the action we're going to do is get email. So when we get into the add action, so it looks like this, add an action. We're just going to type in get email. Okay. Now, I could have done it... Um, a multitude of ways. I could type in Office 365 Outlook if I wanted to and just come up with these. It doesn't matter. I could do lots of things. But I just type in get email and it is case sensitive. Okay. So get email. Well, well maybe it's not. I thought it was case sensitive. Let me see here. No, it's not. Okay. All right. Anyways, get email. And then we want to click on version two, get email v2. Okay. 
So we've already done that right here, get email v2. And we want to click in this box, okay? And then click on this right here so that we can select the data, which is going to be the ID. But we want to click here first. We're, oh, excuse me. We're not going to see anything. Let me add that real quick. Get, get email, just so you can see. So do you see how that, that little um, lightning bolt doesn't appear there? This one right here. See, we're in here. This does not appear. We have to click inside of that box where the number one is. So if once you click there, bingo. Then you can go down and you can search for ID. And we want to pick message ID. Okay. So that's how we configure that. We're not going to do that one. Uh, because we already have one. Let's go ahead and delete that. Okay. So we've got get email. We, we select it in here. We got the lightning bolt. And then we type in ID at the lightning bolt. And the one that we want to pick is message ID, which we already have in there. Okay. Perfect. Then that's all that you need to do here. You ready to move to the next step? Again, we're going to create an item. We're going to click on the plus sign, hit there, and we're going to type in create item. You know, before we go on to that, though, I want to make sure you get the screenshot on this last one. So screenshot from get email, we click here, do the lightning bolt. So screenshot that one. Sorry, it's over a page. And then... When you're prompted, you're going to type in ID and you're going to pick message ID. Then you're going to add a new action, add a new action. Okay. So here we're going to do create item. Okay. And what we're looking for is SharePoint's create item, which is right here. Notice that lots of them have, well, they're not exactly the same words, but they have similar things. So don't accidentally select one. Just select create item. Okay. Now, when you get down to create item, you're just going to, oh, let me give you that real quick here. So this is what we just did right here. All right. Hopefully you got that screenshot. Good. All right. Um, the next thing we're going to do, once we hit create item, do you see it right here? It's going to pop us into this screen and here we're going to select the website that we have it to, which happens to be personal. And then it's going to come up with what lists are inside of personal. In this case, we're actually going to email capture. So let's go down to email capture. Right there. All right. We're going to do again a show all. And we're going to plug in all of the values now title we don't have so we don't have to worry about that okay and then um we're going to just pump in subject etc so we click on here and we type in subject all right and then you see under excuse me under get email to subject you're going to click on that notice that you have two of them that are the same you do not know want this when it arrives. We want this one right here. Okay, so we click on subject. And then I'm going to show you the rest of them because I'm not going to recreate this because I already have it. So we're going to go ahead and delete this. But let's go ahead and create an item. And you can see them all. They all have Outlook, subject from body receive time. Okay, so step by step, let's go ahead and do the screen capture for you. All right, so we did this, right? We set it up. Create item, here it is, here's the subject, we hit show all, here's the subject, we clicked our mouse right there, and then the lightning bolt came up, and then we started feeding everything from this connector right here, get email version 2, we just started feeding it in, easy, easy, okay, and that, my friends, is it, that's as tough as this is, that's all she wrote, so, um, we put in all those times, and then um, and that's about it. The next step really is to save and test. 
So let me run you through those procedures. This video ran a little long, so we're not going to actually do the saving test, but it does work. I tested it. First thing you hit save, then you hit test. When you get to test, you select manual, and then you go number two, test. Okay? And then let it rip, and it should work fine. All the data should go up into that remote site. Good luck.